Hi digital marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. In the tracking field, we are working with lots of CMS like WordPress, Wix, ClickFunnels, Squarespace and lots of. And these CMS are providing the activate the data layer options. This CMS based website providing the options to activate the data layer of website but sometimes we do not find out any options to activate the data layer like custom made website a php and more others so in this case how can we activate the data layer and how to push a event today i will show you how to activate data layer without help of developer using of custom javascript and google tag manager you can see that our demo website if now we go to our google tag manager preview options connect and open a product page that is view item event and back to tag assistant look see we do not find out any event that is the view item event we are all know that so today i will show you how to push the view item event and as well as send the event parameter like product name price quantity currency and more so let's get started so for the view item event firstly we need to create a single product array by using this array we have to send the any kind of parameter to our social media platform like facebook google ads tiktok pinterest whatever you say so step by step we have to pick every event parameter by using of custom javascript with the help of google tag manager so we can see that that is our product page and also see the product name price quantity and also the currency Firstly, we have to select the product name and right click on your mouse inspect and here find out our web element that is our product name and again click the right button on your mouse and copy JS path go to console that is our browser console and paste the web element which we are copy from the element section and dot just give a short code that is in our text. And we can see that as the output we are find out our product name so we are just copy the product name and back to our google tag manager go to the variable sections we are already told you firstly we have to create the single product array for the view item event so new variable configuration custom javascript here we putting the code that is function first bracket start first bracket closed and also the second bracket starts second bracket closed and under the second bucket we have to store it our all value firstly we have to adding the name and equal just paste the code firstly you have to store it each and every event parameter then we have to return the every event parameter so firstly we have stored the name then back to again our product page then we have to pick the product price so select the product price we are see that 350 dollars and again click the right button on your mouse inspect so you'll find out our web element right click on your mouse copy just path console and paste it dot in our text here we can see the price but here is a problem is with the price we are see the currency sign but the social media platform like facebook google ads and ga4 they are do not accepting the currency sign so for that we are trying to remove the currency sign so for that again we are copy the code and put a small code that is replace and finally enter then you can see that our product price are showing without any currency sign but here also a problem that is show the string value that will be the converted to the number value so for we are again copy the code and just type a first float our browser console already suggested this code that is first float and then cover the first bracket and paste the code and for that we are find out our value as a string value enter we can see that that will be show the number value not a string value so we are find out our number value so copy the code and back to our google tag manager and store the value here so bar price and paste the code so again back to our product page now time to create the quantity so we are increase the quantity and 
copy the quantity again right click on your mouse inspect and copy the web element copy js path console paste the code dot value so for the quantity we are also find out the string value that will be converted to the number value so for that again copy the code parse foot and first bracket start first bracket close under the first bracket we have to paste the code and enter we can see that we are find out the quantity value as a number value not a string value so copy the code and back to google tag manager again we are store the quantity so we are store the name price quantity now we have stored the currency that will be the aesthetic because our website will show the usd so just we type usd for it so we are already stored each and every parameter now time to return the value so we are just type return third bracket and also the second bracket we are adding the array so for the array we are using the second bracket so here we are just to return the all of value which we are store it in the top so we are type firstly item name we are return the value using the ga4 schema you know that if you using the ga4 schema the tracking will be the easy you can send the any kind of event with the parameter so i am using the ga4 schema according to schema the product name will be the item name so i am typing the item name and we are just copy the name because if you have any kind of spelling mistake your array is not working so i'm just adding the name so we are return the item name secondly we are return the price and again copy the price from the top third one is currency we are copy the currency from it and paste it and then quantity and copy the quantity from the top paste it so we are return the all of value now time to giving the variable name that is cgs items array save it so now we are go to the preview options and check out that our single product array are working perfectly or not so go to preview continue that is our website and our tag assistant connected with our website so go to any product page and that is our product page back to tag assistant and then go to the window loaded and under the window loaded we can see that cgs item array we are find out our single product array item name price currency quantity we are stored our array without any help of developer we are find out our single product array now time to push the our view item event in our data layer so for that go to google tag manager and uh, go to the tags new tag tag configuration and now select the custom html and paste the code we are putting the code according to the ga4 schema so in the bar items we are adding the items that we are created single product so we are just adding our cgs items array so in the price we are paste the code which we are created currency code you know that we are putting the static sign that is usd and the event will be the view item according to ga4 schema so for the currency we are putting the currency code and then value that is the price we are copy the price from it and paste it here and the items will be the items we are already put the items so according to ga4 schema we are create our event that is view item event now time to set up a triggering or conditions we are giving the conditions in triggering section that means when our event are stored in our data layer so click the triggering play new trigger and trigger configuration that will be the window loaded and back to tag assistant we have to find out the conditions which conditions we have to apply to store it our view item event so scroll it we are finding the conditions here you can giving the conditions that is space path url and product you can see the product so i'm just copy the product sections because if you are copy the total conditions so it is not work for the all view item event that means any other product base that condition is not work so i am just copy the product so back to our google tag manager sections some window loaded go to the page path we are finding our page path here you can see that page path contains and then paste the our product as a conditions 
so triggering name will be the event view item for data layer push save it and finally giving the tag name that is custom html data layer push for view items save it so now time to check out that our view item event are stored in our data layer or not so for that go to preview continue and back to our website we are just go to any product page and you can see that our conditions are showing in our product page back to tag assistant here you can see that we are find out our view item event in our data layer see our event currency value also item name price currency quantity are showing here if you go to other product page we can examine more our view item event is working for the all product or not so again go to another product page and back to tag assistant and again see that our view item event are working for all kind of product so i hope you understand how to push your view item event without help of any developer using of custom javascript custom html and as well as using of google tag manager so thanks for watching this video i will see in the next video with a new topic thank you